everyone, it's Hannah with Triple S Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to make goat's milk ice cream. We're going to be doing raspberry or peach, um, either one, because I have a customer that wants them. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So the first ingredient is sugar or whatever sweetener you like to use. Um, if you're using pure sweetener, which we usually use, um, do half of what I'm going to tell you for this. Now, just regular pure sugar, um, and you will need three fourths cup of sugar. Then you're going to need uh, lemon juice. Try to make it pure lemon juice because um, I think it helps it make better, like the ice cream better. So you need one fourth tablespoon of that. Now, salt. Um, one eighth tablespoon. It's a weird, you hardly ever hear that, but one eighth tablespoon of salt. Then heavy whipping cream, you'll need one three fourths cup of that. And then just fresh goat's milk, you will need half a cup. And then today I'm going to show you um, how to do raspberry ice cream. So I'm going to use half of this um, just to have like kind of like you have nuts and you have chocolate chips in there. I'm gonna have half of this just mixed in there and then half of it I'm gonna blend it up so it has more of a taste, more of a raspberry taste to it. So that is all the ingredients you'll need. Um, by the way, I just use one package, one small package of that. And then the last but not least, You'll need kosher salt or rock salt. I'm out of rock salt, so I'm using this today. Then it is so much easier to use a um, ice cream maker than doing it on a stovetop. I've done that several times on the stovetop. It's so much easier to use a ice cream maker. So, be back with you. Alright, so I have a big bowl so I can put my ingredients in and then a whisk. This is used a lot. I'm surprised it's not broken, but a whisk, a faithful whisk. So, yep, I'm going to be doing that. By the way, I don't know if I said this, but um, this is going to make two pints. This is enough for two pints, so it should fill both of these up. All right, so uh, three-fourths cup of sugar. Then we're going to do one fourth tablespoon of lemon juice. You don't need very much lemon juice at all, even when you're doing a whole gallon. Um, all right, so salt, one eighth tablespoon. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. It's like you really, anyways. Um, all right, then your heavy cream, one three-fourths cup. So one three-fourths cup of heavy cream. You're gonna put that in there. It's one three-fourths. Half a cup of milk. This is goat milk. Don't forget that. We are making goat milk ice cream. Alright, then you're going to do half of your raspberries or peaches or whatever fruit you're wanting to do. So I just try to do half of those and I'm going to put them in the bowl and I'm going to whisk those together, all of the ingredients together and then I'm going to put it in the blender so the raspberries will blend up so it has more flavor to it. So that's what we're going to do next. Alrighty, why don't you look at that. That is after I blended half the raspberries with 
the ice cream mixture. And the rest of them I'm just going to mix whisk in there and then place in the ice cream maker. So I had a better idea. Instead of just putting the raspberries whole inside of the mixture, I cut them in fours. The raspberries in fours. So there's more raspberries, so they're not whole raspberries. And so I just mix those in the ice cream mixture. And we'll see how this goes. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ice cream maker. I'm going to set it out, plug it in, put the mixture in there, put ice around it, and then I'm going to put um, kosher salt or rock salt over the ice, cover the top of the ice with this or rock salt, and let it go for um, 10 to 15 minutes maybe eight check on it at eight minutes because it's a smaller batch so probably eight to ten minutes to actually check on it so that is your next thing to do okay so I have my ice around my ice cream container inside my ice cream maker I have ice and then I have uh, the kosher salt on top or you do rock salt Cover the top of the ice. Make sure the ice is all around the ice cream container or it may not be evenly, um, evenly done. So you just place this on here. Plug it in and you wait about 8 to 10 minutes because this is a smaller batch. Alright, so the ice cream has been in the ice cream maker for about 10 minutes. Um, it hasn't done much, but it's made it thicker. Um, a little bit more creamy looking. I don't know if y'all can really see that. But I'm going to let it go for... Um, I'm going to try 10 minutes. It might need to be 15 minutes to get the thickness I want. Make sure you add more ice and more kosher salt or rock salt also. So, that is a good thing to remember. Alright everyone, I'm going to show you the finished product. It is raspberry goat milk ice cream. It looks really good. Um, I may have said in the towards the beginning of the video that it makes two pints. It actually makes one pint of ice cream. And I will try to put um, a recipe for a gallon and a recipe for a pint um, down below. So thank you guys for watching.